hello everyone welcome back to my channel so since a uh, week i was unable to upload the classes because i was not well and everyone in our country is facing a very toughest situation i pray for all of them that this covid 19 should eradicate as early as possible so in this video we are going to start a second chapter in isc that is information system and computer for our first semester students of mcom bnu so the first chapter is a bit lengthy and it took two months for us to complete that chapter i can say that first chapter is a combination of three chapters but the third uh second and the third chapters are a bit small only and it is uh the both the chapters are completely different from the first chapter so in the first chapter all we discuss was about the information system in the second chapter we are going to discuss about the information technology grc let's see what is this grc so grc it is stand for governance risk compliance so governance risk compliance what is this combination of the three words grc so grc was formally defined as an integrated collection of capabilities that enable an organization to really achieve objective address uncertainty and act with integrity see your students so to know the meaning of this grc together first we should know the individual meaning of this word later we will discuss this definition so governance what do you mean by governance or what do you mean by government so what is the work of a government why we elect a particular party political party a political leader why we are electing them why we must have a government in a country right so for what purpose the government is there the government is there to look after the needs of the people they are administrating they are managing the affairs of a country either it is the safety of the people or it is concerned to the businesses it is concerned to the health issues it is concerned to the education in every department they are responsible for framing the rules and they are framing the rules those rules we must be followed by the citizens of a country and here in an end the government role is to administer the country to look after the affairs of a country so here also governance it is needed for a company so to look after the company's affairs to to run smoothly the business of a company the governance should be there there should be some person who will be framing the rules who will be framing the policies so here the uh, the rules and policies which is frame are very necessary for the company to achieve their targeted objective so the process by which policy is set right policies here in the sense policies here in the sense the rules rules is set and decision making is executed so to make some decisions some rules will be set and are uh, following those rules the decision making which is the decisions which are took that will be executed that will be converted into a action that will be bring that will be brought into a reality so is the set of policy law culture that have an organization that how an organization should be managed so see your governance in the sense on uh, the simple word you can say the administration or the management so to manage a particular company there should be certain rules and regulations if there is a some some person is appointed to manage a company a manager 
according to according to his ideas according to his mood swings he cannot manage a company to manage a company also there are set rules they set policy set law or set culture of a company to by following those rules by following those culture by following that law only a manager can manage a company according to his mood swing according to his ideas according to his benefits he cannot run a company right so here governance is very much needed to run smoothly the business of the company so the process by which policy is set and decision making is executed it is a set of policies law culture that how an organization should be managed so it includes leadership it includes management it includes accountability that is responsibility so the characteristics of good governance the manager characteristic is he will be he should be good in managing things he will he should be a responsible person he has some accountability and he is a good leader so if in a company they want a good governance the three good features are leadership management and accountability the next word is risk management so this risk management is itself a subject you will be studying in your second semester probably after 11th may the subject will be started by um it will be started by myself only so risk management so what is risk risk means here the uncertainties so uncertainties which is not known by any person risk management is is also a process it is predicting managing risk so here every business aims to maximize the profit right their their the main aim is profit maximization if you want to earn more and more profit there will be risk so there is no business without risk even if it is a small business it is a big business multinational company a sole tra- 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 proprietorship or a joint concern in every case in every ki- ki- kind of a business there will be risk risk is we can say it is mandatory so if there is a risk we must manage that risk so the second feature of grc is risk management first stage we have rules to manage our company second stage is all about the risk how to manage that risk so predicting the risk so future coming risk will be predicted today and managing that risk that could hinder the organization so that could damage the organization if some risk are going to be arise in future which can cause a big loss to our company that can be predicted predicted today and to solve that risk some activities some solutions uh, some uh, kind of uh, things will be done to avoid that kind of risk so the organization from real, real reliably achieving its objective under uncertainties so uncertainties to overcome the uncertainties to face it preparing before arriving of the risk is a better option than after arriving the risk and we are preparing in a hurry right so prediction uh, precaution is better than cure there is a phase that precaution is better than cure so taking the precautions avoiding the risk planning for the avoiding of the risk is a needed one for the business so here identifying it analyzing it planning it mitigating is, is in the sense it is reducing the risk again it reviewing so all these are the process of the risk management so let's not go in deep of this so first was governance framing the rules for managing the company next is risk management that is predicting the risk and avoiding it by planning the solutions last one is compliance so what do you mean by complying 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 in the sense following we must comply with the instructions provided by our tutor that 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 means the instructions which is given by the tutor your teacher that instruction you must go through right so compliance here in the sense in the first stage we have governance so in governance we have rules 
we have regulations and risk management we predicted the risk we got some solutions only stopping to it is not a end solution or the end objective of grc complying it following it adhering to the rules and regulation is a needed one just framing the rules and keeping it as it is keeping the rules idle nobody is following then what will be a change in the company you have a governance uh, governance uh, feature in your company you have a risk management process in your company but nobody is working on it nobody is following it nobody is adhering to the rules and regulations means what is the use of doing all those things right so compliance here in the sense adhering to with with whatever mandated boundaries so what is the boundary what in the in the sense being in that boundary only not crossing the boundaries not co- crossing the boundaries so that is law and regulations so adhering following the rules and regulations law and regulations and voluntary bo- boundaries here in the sense company policies so we are following the company policies also and also we are following the government law and regulations also so compliance here in the sense we must follow the government rules and regulations and also the company rules and regulations that is what call as grc governance risk management and compliance so see here there is a simple uh, uh, trick i can say to remember the these three words so governance here in the sense achieving the objectives to achieve an objective we must have a good management so the for that the good administration is needed risk address the uncertainties so it is addressing the uncertainties avoiding the risk compliance here in this is act with integrity so integrity means here in this is following the rules and regulations so governance achieve objective risk address uncertainty compliance act with integrity now let's see this definition grc governance risk compliance was formally defined as integrated so integration here in this is together these are integrated together collection of governance together collection of risk together collection of compliance of capabilities that enable an organization to reliably achieve objective ad- address uncertainty and act with integrity so achieving objective is linked with the governance address uncertainty is linked with the risk and act with integrity it is linked with the compliance so that is all about today's video so in the next class we are going to discuss the next topics of uh, it grc so keep watching uh, the videos if you have any doubt you can wa- ask me in the comments below or in your whatsapp group and if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like to my channel and um, share it to your friends thank you